Hey, Palmetto Hills Church family, Pastor Josh here, bringing our second uh, devotional based on the hymn, How Firm a Foundation, and uh, this is loosely drawn from David Pallison's book, God's Grace in Your Suffering, and last time Jacob gave us an introduction from the book, and he looked at the first stanza of the hymn, How Firm a Foundation, and today I want to look at the second stanza as we think about God's grace in our suffering. Fear not, I am with you, O be not dismayed, for I am your God and will still give you aid. I'll strengthen you, help you, and cause you to stand, upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. What's really interesting about that verse is that it's almost a direct quote from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11, which reads this. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. So in understanding what that second stanza of how firm a foundation means, we have to think back to what Isaiah 41 is about and the context there. And if you remember the, the prophecy of Isaiah, the Assyrians have already taken captive the northern uh, empire of Israel and Isaiah is prophesying about how the southern kingdom of Judah would also fall prey to the Babylonians. So there's all sorts of fear and anxiety, people's livelihoods, social, economic, religious, personal implications, everything turned upside down for them. And uh, whether it's in the present or in the future, there are all sorts of questions. And so what is God's message to them in the, in the midst of their turmoil and strife? It's a message of his presence, a message of his grace. Fear not. That's one of the most repeated phrases from the Bible. God comforts us and reminds us not to be afraid. Why? For I am with you. This is what we tell our kids. This is what we tell our family members when they're afraid. We go in in the middle of the night. Mommy, Daddy, I had a nightmare. It's okay. Daddy's here. Mommy's here. The God of the universe is with us. Fear not. Don't be dismayed. Don't be overwhelmed. Don't give up hope. For I am your God. That's covenant language. That's the promise that God, not only with us, but he's promised to be with us and to deliver us now and into the future. I am your God. I'll strengthen you. I'll help you. I'll still give you aid. God is here, even through the challenges and difficulties that we face, he's here and he's promised to strengthen us and help us and he'll cause us to stand up. And, and how is that possible? How can we endure suffering, endure temptations and difficulties and suffering because God is holding us up, upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. God is a righteous judge. Everything he does is right, and his hand is omnipotent. That means all-powerful. And he can hold us up and carry us, even when things happen in our lives that we don't want to go through, that we're afraid about, when we don't know the questions about how we'll make ends meet, what's going to happen next week, how are things going to unfold. God reminds us, I'm God, I'm with you, I'm the Lord, I'm strong, I'm mighty, I'll hold you up. And so as we think about how firm a foundation in our fears and anxieties and the questions about the present and the future, God spoke into our lives thousands of years ago with these truths, and we get to sing about it and how firm a foundation. So I hope that's an encouragement to you as you are going through different things, maybe internal struggles, maybe financial struggle, struggles, maybe you're sick. Whatever it is, lonely, afraid, fear not, for God himself is with us, and he'll hold us up. Amen.